What is good, YouTube? JB here, and this is going to be episode 9 of my How to Make Easy Coin series for NCAA Ultimate Team. Pretty much the series where I show you guys how to make coins so you don't have to spend money on this game mode. So, in this video, I have the, a method for you called the All American Pack method. Very, very, very fun method. Probably the funnest one I've done yet, but it's also a little bit tedious. But pretty much what you got, what you got to do is you got to open an All American Pack. And this is my season ticket pack. These packs actually cost 7,500 coins. And I included this pack because it's completely random. It's actually a pretty bad pack, but I'm going to show you guys how you can make a majority of your coins back very easily by selling all the contents that you get in the pack so this Houston Cougar um, collectible I saw none of those on the market at all so if any of you guys know if that's rare please do let me know but what you want to do right now is you want to get a piece of paper a pen and all the players we got five players in this pack you want to write down their names their positions and everything and so we're gonna search them up after we send all these cards for reserves it's gonna make your life a lot easier if you use a pen and paper because it's really hard to go back and remember all the players you got in your pack or do it off the top of your head so um, the the reasoning behind this is or the thought process is that if you sell all the players that you got in that pack and that pack looked bad so I'm gonna show you guys uh, you know you're gonna be quite amazed by how well this works that pack look that wasn't one of the war um, you know not one of the better packs you can get in NCAA Ultimate Team I'm gonna show you guys how you can still make your coins back even if you don't make 7500 coins you might make about 5000 coins back and that's a pretty good return on a 7500 pack and plus you get the you get the fun of opening packs that's one of the funner things to do in this game with his opening pack so you saw the strong safety can sell for about 2000 coins and even this bronze outside linebacker he'll sell for about 500 so um, you, you know there's no point in keeping these guys in your club there might be in the future and might you might get lucky that you had one of these guys in your club but I'm just gonna put them back up and then here's the other special thing that you really want to do you want to make sure that any of the guys that you open don't fit a collection and you know I got <laughs> I got one of these guys uh, one of the free safety the bronze free safety is, I got is in one of these collections so he'll sell for about 2,000 coins rather than you know you would only expect him to sell for a couple hundred and then I made a big mistake the middle linebacker that I opened also fits one of these collections and uh, um you know, I messed up and I listed him for a, a little bit lower than I should have. I could have milked out some more coins in, on him. But yeah, so you got to check the collections. You might get lucky. You might strike a uh, jackpot and you might not even know it. So here's one of the silver DBs. He sold for 1,000. And then that linebacker that fit that collection, he sold instantly for 1,900 coins, pretty much 2,000 coins. And I could have milked a lot more coins out of him. So that was a mistake that I made. But, um, you know, for you guys, for future reference, it's just trial and error. You guys will get used to it as you do it more. And I'm sure as I do this more, I'll get, I'll get used to and I'll, I'll remember to check the collections and stuff so pretty much here is the the, uh, the prices that I put these guys up for it's kind of weird that you can't see the buy nows you can only see the the bid the bids that I put on them but if you add this all up I made about 3,000 coins off the two guys that I sold already and then um, I have two guys up for at least 1500 and I'm sure they'll buy now for a little bit higher price so that's another 3,000 that makes 6,000 and then I have these two I have that bronze player and that game extension that makes about another thousand coins so you can you can tell that just by selling the players in this pack I'm gonna make somewhere between at least 7,000 to 8,000 coins back on my pack not all packs will be this lucky but some some packs might even be luckier than this and then also I haven't even included the the collectible that I got the uniforms the stadiums I don't know if those sell too much I haven't really dealt with them I'll make sure to look into those more but that collectible there was none up so I'm thinking that maybe I I got a good uh, you know collectible there I'm not exactly sure but anyways at the end of this video I'm gonna list up the prices so it kind of breaks down easier for you and it's and this is all luck there's nothing you can really do sometimes you'll get lucky sometimes you won't but I I'm finding that even if you get a really 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 bad pack you can still make about four thousand to five thousand coins back on your on your seven thousand five hundred that you put in and that's a decent return because uh, one of the funnest things to do in and ultimate team is to open packs so you still get the the joy or the fun of opening the pack and then you get a bunch of your coins back so what you really want to remember is to use a pen and paper it's gonna make your life a lot easier just write down the players names write down the positions look them up right away only I would suggest to only open one pack at a time uh, if you open about two or three and then try to do this it's gonna get really confusing and and it's gonna get tedious and you're and when you're searching up the players you're gonna get sick of it and you're not gonna want to do it and then you're gonna you're not gonna actually fulfill the method so yeah guys let me 
know if you guys have been doing something like this. I used to do this all the time in Madden Ultimate Team, and uh, that's how I had a lot of fun because I like I love to open packs and then listing them up and getting almost all your coins back. That's pretty cool. I mean, uh, most people don't do this. They just stick everyone in the reserve. So I would I would suggest to do this and let me know how it works for you guys or if you guys have done something like this. But as always, I hope you guys did enjoy. Drop a like. This is one of the funner methods. I switched it up. Uh, there's no guarantee. It's just all on luck. So uh, it seems like you can make a lot of coins back. I, at least 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 at the very least. I, I'm pretty sure you can. So uh, drop a like if you haven't already subbed. Let me know if you enjoyed or not. I just wanted to switch it up. We'll get back into the hardcore, not the hardcore, but like the legit methods, the ones that we can, we know for sure will work after this. So as always, everyone, take care. Good luck opening packs, all that good stuff, and peace.